Hey everybody, this is Debbie with Total-German-Shepherd.com and uh, today I want to take just a few minutes to talk with you quickly about one aspect of owning a German Shepherd and that's socializing your dog. So let's talk a little bit about socializing your German Shepherd. Now I just can't stress to you how important it is to perform socialization exercises and training activities early and often in your German Shepherd dog's life. So you want to go to the park, you want to take your dog to as many dog friendly stores as possible, you know, take your puppy with you on errands, go on car rides and just do as much as you can together, you know, to get your dog outside of just your own home environment. So you want to take your puppy with you uh, whenever you can and wherever you can and when I tell you you know take your puppy with you I don't mean you know take it with you in the car and then leave it in your car while you go in the store I mean actually take your puppy to places where you can actually take your puppy inside with you so it can uh, see new uh, see new things, you know, smell new smells, hear new things, you know, being introduced to just obvious, obviously different things that they would never see inside your home and that's what you want. Now socialization in your German Shepherd will occur whenever your puppy is introduced to new situations um, and what you want to do is you want to actively participate in socialization to get your puppy really interested in, in you know meeting new things or at least not being afraid of meeting new things. So you want to make sure that you teach your dog to safely interact with as many new people, places or things as you possibly can. Now this is definitely a great step when you want to build your German Shepherd puppy's confidence and also helps uh, to build them a more stable temperament. So this makes your dog more capable of coping with new and unusual experiences in the future. So socialization is also really important to your dog because it helps strengthen your dog's confidence and it reduces the chance in the future that your dog is going to become shy or fearful and of all the uh, the biters, you know, you hear of a lot of dogs that are biters or, or a lot of people being bitten by certain dogs. A lot of times the dogs that are actually doing the biting are dogs that are fearful because they're fear aggressive. So the, the more uh, successfully you can socialize the dog, the better off you are and the less of the chance you're going to have of your dog being one of these animals that, that are fear biters. So also, German Shepherds are highly intelligent, and these early German Shepherd socialization lessons and, and exercises you do with your dog, you know, having them around new and different stimuli are going to make your adult German Shepherd much more stable and confident, and this is exactly what you want in your dog. Now, it's extremely important to socialize your German Shepherd as soon as possible, and, you know, starting as, a, at, as young an age as possible to help make them more comfortable with other dogs, more people, uh, and you also want to make them comfortable in, a, you know, different environments. So it can really come in handy when your dog is meeting new people or other dogs or pets or maybe even other children. So the more you socialize the dog, the better off you're going to be. Now puppy obedience classes, which are also often referred to as puppy kindergarten, are a very, just I just can't overstate how important these are as a means to introduce your puppy to, you know, the world outside of its own home. So this is a prime experience to get your dog out into, to be able to, to meet new dogs, new people, to see new things, and it's also a wonderful training and a bonding opportunity for your pet. Now puppy obedience classes are set up in such a way as to teach a German Shepherd puppy, you know, the actual training commands, you know, sit, stay, and that sort of thing. But it also helps teach you, the owner, you know, how to train your puppy in, in very specific behaviors and manners, you know, now and also in the future. But it also helps your dog, you know, quickly discover that link between your commands and the desired behavior that you want. And it also helps them to feel more comfortable around, you know, new animals. Now it is entirely possible that you can train you know a puppy at home any kind of dog you know your German Shepherd or whatever uh, but compared to all the different kinds of socialization lessons that your dog can learn from actually being in a puppy class there's really no comparison so if you have a chance to to sign your puppy up for a uh, a puppy training class I highly recommend them now German Shepherd socialization experiences can be quite varied you can uh, introduce your animal to different kinds of sounds, you know, horns of cars, people, uh, other animals, you know, the sounds of traffic, you know, if you have like a school around your house, uh, you know, our local uh, area, you know, the sounds of children and that sort of thing. And also, if your German Shepherd puppy was raised in some kind of, you know, farm locale, that dog is also 
probably seen or heard or smelled different kinds of animals. You know, they've uh, been around maybe large farm equipment and other kinds of vehicles. So anything like this you can get your dog around. The more of it you can do, the better off you are. And a lot of other interesting things to introduce your puppy to are things you may take for granted like slick floors, you know, things like linoleum and tile, uh, elevators, stairs, carpeting, all of these things, if, especially if they're not inside your, your home or inside your, your home's area, you know, try to get your puppy out into a place where they can actually come in contact with these uh, playgrounds uh, for children, you know, like schools and that sort of thing. When kids aren't around and you're actually trying to introduce your puppy to different things, these are really helpful to get your puppy on. And just It's just because there's so many different surfaces and smells and textures and that sort of thing, and all these are great to get your puppy around. Now, one of your new jobs as your German Shepherd Puppies owner um, also is to add to as many of its experiences as you can. So you want to ask the breeder or wherever you got the puppy from, the rescue organization or, or the uh, kennel or, or wherever, you want to ask them you know, what kind of socialization has been done with the puppy so far and then you just want to take it from there. So the more new and exciting experiences that you can make your German Shepherd part of uh, in their life, the better off they're going to be. Now many studies have shown that the critical period of socialization for a German Shepherd puppy is somewhere usually around 8 to 16 weeks of life. So during this period it's essential that the uh, German Shepherd puppy safely and positively experience as many new things as possible. Now some of these experiences might be a little stressful to your puppy and what you want to do is you want to support your dog during these times and you want to encourage them throughout this entire uh, German Shepherd socialization process. Now I can't stress to you enough how important it is that you continue to socialize your German Shepherd puppy during the first you know few months that you have it, and also you know for, throughout the rest of its life because all these experiences are going to build on one another. So discovery of new experiences and teaching these dogs uh, how to handle with them positively, you know, and how to deal with it and how to be confident. This is just highly, highly important, and I can't overstress the importance of socialization. Now, if you want to learn more things about the German Shepherd Dog, please visit us anytime online at www.total-german-shepherd.com. We'd love to have you come by and visit us, and uh, also come by our YouTube channel, and uh, that's at youtube.com forward slash total German Shepherd, all one word. And again, thank you very much for your time, and you guys have a good day.